After seeing the same old fight over and over, you'd expect the fight to get boring. The same rust-coated armor, the same overly shiny sword, the same ten-year-old calling you a noob for mistiming a heavy. But with Blade Symphony, that isn't the case for me. Blade Symphony, unlike most other games, has a huge creative fan base, making models, skins, all sorts of crazy new things to fit your preferred aesthetic. All of this is easily accessible with workshop integration, and an option to turn it off if you don't want to see the glamorous skins. Even with all the things Sater has done to ruin characters, he cannot ruin the masterfully crafted skins and workshop content. The skins range from beautiful pieces of Who art to ridiculous vibrant cartoony skins that will give you a good laugh or two. Some sword skins come with custom trails that will leave your enemies dazzled by your remarkable sword. These skins can lead to the creation of beautiful screenshots or even short movies or videos with cinematic appeal. And you may be thinking, if people can make sword models, can't they just make a huge sword and hit people from across the map? Well, thankfully, the workshop content must fit within regulations and hitbox sizes. And because everyone who has the setting turned on can see it, if you were to make your own sword, you would have a personal identifier so people can tell who you are. Just make sure your stuff fits the community guidelines. Thanks for watching Skimming the Surface on Blade Symphony Workshop. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Again, thanks for watching.